All right, so it's Saturday morning. I just woke up. My life's been such a mess lately. I can't even lie. Besides going to work or the gym, I haven't left my apartment for a whole month. Today is gonna be like a vlog where I just hang out. And then also, yo, I really gotta clean the house. My laundry, you gotta put in some air filters, gotta put away some groceries and stuff like that. So right now it is 11.36. I've had a pretty late start to the day. So let me just give you a rundown of my week so far. From Monday to Friday, I've had a hectic week. I've been stuck in traffic for two hours twice. One time it started snowing, probably like maybe this much snow. The highway was backed up. My GPS told me to take a normal street instead of using the highway on ramp. And then it takes me one whole hour just to get back onto the Gardener, which is the only highway that leaves Toronto. So that was one thing. Then fast forward again on Thursday, I'm driving home, decent amount of traffic. I'm on the Gardener and it just stops and the gps told me super late that there's an accident oh my god bro oh, hell hell no. and now look there's no exit in between so it's all red this is the first gridlocked like traffic i've ever been in hello darkness my old friend i did do groceries before i even got in this so maybe that was like a good thing a box of pop tarts pop tarts and chill that's what it's looking like everybody's like going crazy and i'm just out here filming a food review it's like a gummy candy it's okay it just tastes like strawberry jam if it were like a gummy it's so funny when i was driving here i was like yo what if we're in like a like gridlock for like multiple hours and like you know i should have like some food in my car and like a blanket or whatever just in case anything happens and guess what did i manifest it i don't know tell me how ways they're just giving this icon like what I mean, they should have a sign that says do not enter the highway otherwise you'll be stuck here for the rest of your life it's been almost an hour traffic has not moved even an inch okay i just saw some girl i think she was in an uber she got out started walking back towards the closest exit and honestly i don't blame her while the rest of us npcs are stuck in traffic we got more people no i rate that though all right so your boy is editing in traffic am i the first person to ever edit in toronto traffic as a driver let me know let me know i'm also kind of running out on gas too i don't know if you guys can tell now i look in the mirror behind me there's no more cars what happened was cops were evacuating everyone backwards off the highway because if some car exploded which was insane we're out bro holy it's still telling me to take the gardener bro safe to say it's been a hectic week but i'm going to quickly clean up the apartment so it doesn't look hideous and disgusting i gotta also empty my hvac filter so let's get to it Feeling kind of hungry right now. I'm gonna quickly take a little food break. Got the last of my overnight oats over here. And I'm gonna come back when I'm done eating it. Then I'm gonna wash the dishes, clean all this up. clean i gotta still mop and like clean the washrooms and do kind of hardcore cleaning but we'll leave it for now i was gonna walk there originally but i'm running out of time so i'm gonna call uber real quick and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do after we get there but i'm gonna head out now
looking to go to Pi right now, Pi downtown. I just left the AGO, it's about a 14 minute walk. And it's kind of cold right now, it's like negative eight actually. Let's see how it is, hopefully they don't make me wait. After walking in the freezing cold, I finally made it to Pi and luckily I was able to get a seat right when I walked in even though the restaurant was pretty full. I'm pretty excited to try the food here because it's a hyped restaurant and it's on the Michelin Guide. So let's see if it's worth it or not. So the first thing I ordered was squash fritters. I checked the Google reviews and a lot of people recommending them so I got that and it also came with the sweet and sour sauce. So the first bite was pretty good. I can understand why this is a popular item on the menu. It's nice and crispy on the outside but still soft on the inside and it kind of has like a neutral taste. It's not super flavorful but that's where the sauce comes clutch you dip it in there and it's like a nice sweet sour savory taste overall it's a solid 7 out of 10 I just wish it was a little bit crunchier so I decided to take off my hat because my head was getting a little bit hot and the struggle I had to open this zipper was insane bro I was struggling for like a solid five minutes then my main came just in time. I ordered cow soy, which is basically like chicken noodle soup. I guess you could say that. And it's my first time trying this. Presentation, fire, 10 out of 10. It had this like crispy little chips on top. I love the presentation of the bowl too. It looks really appetizing with all the colors in there. And then you also got your pickled vegetables, a lime, onion, and then some red sauce. Forgot what that was. Now this is my third time at a Thai restaurant and I keep forgetting how big the portion sizes for everything is. I couldn't finish the fritters by the time I got this so I'm like let me at least finish this soup. Had to cool down the noodles real quick because I don't like eating hot food. After taking a bite I'm gonna rate this a 7 out of 10. It's basically like a sweet curry with noodles and chicken which does taste good. I do like the flavor but I prefer more of a savory and spicy flavor rather than what this dish was. But other than that I did enjoy eating here. The food came quick and the service was good as well. I was in a rush to to leave because the movie I was about to watch was starting soon so I couldn't finish all the food. I did finish most of cow soy and then I got the fritters packed up. Overall I like the vibe of the restaurant and it's actually pretty massive. Finished up at pie. Overall it was pretty good. Um, rate that 7 out of 10. The portions are huge though. Like Thai people food portions is massive. So now I'm about to go to Simplex and catch a movie real quick. It was a 23 minute walk. I'm not taking an Uber. Honestly, it was such a weird experience. It really didn't make sense to me too much. As soon as I came outside, it started snowing, which looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like I'm in Times Square. <laughs> Low key. Alright, so I'm walking home and it's so cold right now. I'm breathing out, it's cold, but anyways, I'm gonna uh, probably check out this park real quick. I think St. James Park is right around the corner. Sit there for a bit and then go to the gym.
All right, so I just quickly got changed. Now I'm about to head to the gym, get a quick workout in. Consistency is key. I'm on my 30 day transformation. Can't let myself slack anymore. So I'm gonna get a sip of Red Bull. Honestly, it makes me really gassy, but I'm gonna go to the gym now. I will catch you guys later. So I just came back from the gym. It is 11.09, so I was there for about an hour. Honestly, that Red Bull kind of made my head hurt. Like my head's pounding right now, so I didn't get like a full proper workout in. It didn't even really give me that boost I was looking for anyway. Probably gonna dump it right now. Let's do that. Honestly, it wasn't worth taking. The taste kind of grew on me of the original. Before when I did a uh, taste test of it, I didn't like it. And when I drank it again for the first time a while ago, I didn't like it. I don't know, energy drink caffeine is not really like, doesn't really work for me. Now I'm gonna quickly take a shower and make dinner. So I'm gonna make my special egg wraps. So the breakdown of my meal plan is like overnight oats in the morning. That's about a thousand calories. Then two chicken sandwiches, another thousand calories. Then I have these egg wraps, which I think are about like six, 700 calories. Then I have some like almonds or something like that, like one third of a cup of almonds to get my protein and calorie intake for the rest of the day. So right now I'm gonna make these. I'm pretty tired though, so I'm probably gonna crash after this. So let me show you the things that I'm working with, ready? We got all this right here is what I'm working with. Rosemary, I'm telling you, this is clutch and eggs, bro. It tastes so good. 